back mtg joe here and uh was gonna take a break before m21 came out um but pt players tour uh huey jensen seth manfield eric frolick brought a deck that got me uh to do a, an extra stream so this is a black white yorian doom foretold list um as many of you know who are familiar with the channel i love doom foretold it is one of my favorite cards i have uh, the Esper version of the deck in paper, in full art. Uh, I love playing this type of archetype, this kind of prison shell. Uh, so this one is kind of playing more black-white. It is more around um, establishing a Yorian loop. Um, so when you have Charming Prince, Yorian, and like a spell, say like Othakaya, you can create a loop where Yorian enters a battlefield, it blinks Charming Prince, Charming Prince then blinks the Yorian till the next turn, which then can reset all your stuff. So it kind of creates this cyclical loop of just getting value out of it. Um, paired with cards like Burglar Rat and Fenlurker, you can disrupt your opponent's hand. With Treacherous Blessing, you can draw cards, you can reset your ECD every turn. Uh, your Planeswalkers like Kaya and Elspeth can be reset every turn as well. Um, otherwise in the deck, you have some more Discard in Agonizing Remorse, that's also Graveyard Hate, Glass Caskets and Mortify or Flexible Removal. Othakaya can target Planeswalkers, opponents, or creatures it also gains you life kaya can attack graveyards as well and then you have doom foretold where you can sack stuff and then three copies of yorian as well in the main board so it's kind of all in about establishing this loop so it's really about the grindy value train uh, mana base wise you have some black castles a white castle uh, the duels and then um, a couple of the cycling duels so although we're not playing green it allows you to play those uh, like that ability to have an extra duel that is um, a swamp and a plains that let your castles come into play on top and then late game you can also cycle it if you don't need it um, the sideboard wise it is duress versus control matchups glass caskets can be brought in against either aggro or like the token style decks uh, dispark versus bigger stuff rotting regisar i'm assuming is uh, to be brought in against the f um, team erect deck it's a big threat that can attack early uh, and it gets around most of their removal options and then some Kaya Wraths versus the, the creature base matchups. So that's pretty much it. Um, I will be playing it on ranked. I'm 99% mythic, so let's see how it goes. Um, we'll see how many games we get to. Generally, Doom Foretold decks um, are quite time consuming. Um, you don't win quick necessarily. Uh, you're trying to establish a lock. Um, one thing that I was interested that they don't play is something like Omen of the Sun. Uh, just to get the tokens that usually can speed you up the clock and insulates your life total um so we'll try that out see how it goes might be something i do want to add in uh elspeth does allow you to have some of that functionality but you usually have to choose between the life gain and the tokens um so the last time i played doom foretold we ran into the the mirror so i'm hoping that the ladder doesn't pair us in that case doom mirrors are although are fun they do take quite a bit of time to get through um so opponents on jingantha so that's likely going to be sacrifice so i think we keep this hand i'm going to lead off with the swamp in case we draw a second swamp okay so second um mortify is not the worst they will get to sack something so it can get around the glass casket, but then later I can reset it. Okay, so since they have Dread Horde, I'm going to try to go with the glass casket this turn. I don't want to expose something like a Claim the Firstborn. Are we going to do the three lands, never draw the fourth land? So generally against Sacrifice, I'd take out the um, the Doom Foretolds. It's a little bit more of a liability. If they're able to establish um, like a, a Gilded Goose with a cat, they can basically lock us out. Okay, so second one's a bit annoying. We do have this Mortify. So this might just be Rakdos Aggro.
So next turn what I can do is I can Godless Shrine, play the Fen Lurker, and then blink it with Charming Prince to take two cards out of their hand. Also here I can Mortify this to force them to use the Witch's Oven this turn. May, depending on how much heat they bring, just gain three life. Because we're taking two points of damage minimum here. And then two here, so that takes us down to 12. Wishing Mortify was Bedevil to get rid of the Witch's Oven. Them drawing double Dreadhorde in their openers. Quite annoying. Let's see what their follow-up is here. Okay, so Priest. I think I'm actually just going to get this going. This forces them to sack either the Oven or the Priest. Which I think in both cases are beneficial for us. And then next turn I can go like Fen Lurker, Charming Prince. If I draw another land, I can go Fen Lurker, potentially Mortify one of their creatures. This is a roundabout way of getting rid of this oven. You can't sack your food tokens. So it's important to be mindful of the time in these matchups as well. I Playing the Esper version, I have in the past gone to time. Okay, so they get rid of that. So I'm going to sack the Glass Casket. And I think this turn is probably just going to be gaining life. on the opponent's side. I really like perfect. So, kind of wanted it to be a black land. So I can do this or I can mortify and charming prince. I think we Mortify and Charming Prince. So let's do this, and then Charming Prince gain three life. Next turn, I can Fen Lurker and bring Yorian to hand. Like their turn might just be Jengantha. They go claim. Do they have an oven? What a sequence of cards for them to have. Well, we do get to hit the Jingantha at least in hand. Bring back Yorian and let's fetch for a Swamp here. So as long as we dodge like cat, we should be okay. They don't have castle, so also advantageous. I 
think we just need to try to close this game out quick. I think as well, probably okay just playing this. It lets me next turn both Fen Lurker and create a token so I can go wide. I can also then just pump extra mana. So I guess, yeah, because if they block with Woe Strider, I can pump this. See if they do the scry here. It is a bit awkward when you draw like multiple Yorians. We need something like um, ECD would be good. Just get stuff back. Treacherous Blessing to refill our hand. Sun's Champion to gain life. Othakaya would also be good. Have the devil. So, opponent did miss sequence here because I can activate this in response. So now I can block the low strider. So they, they should have waited for me to block and then done that. Because now I get to take the Woe Strider off the table. They can't escape it back. ECD. ECD or Kaya's Wrath. Or Othakaya. Glass Casket also works. So they get a sack here. I'm gonna let them target and then I can do the pump again. See if they make the same mistake twice. And the nice thing is with this other Yorian, I can bounce this to try to exile again. This is just straight black red. <laughs> so I'm gonna go offense defense here. Really need like a Kaya or something. So we'll keep this one. Just play with the land. It's just more pumps for Fen Lurker. Sack it to the oven, they get another food. Hey Quantum, going well. First game so far. Kind of stabilized against Red Black Sacrifice. This is the PT deck uh, some players have been playing. So they can bring this back again. They have to exile their full graveyard.
Charming Prince would be really good. There's a bunch of cards that we can use right now. More lands, because why not? How's it going with yourself? We really haven't drawn like any of our kind of card advantage engines. Even just something like Othakaya to insulate our life total would be good. We can make uh, a Castle Art and Veil token each turn. We're both going through heavy uh, bouts of lands here. If we can kill this opponent's out of, that's not that good of a draw. I think we need to be somewhat cautious. Just in case they have something like uh, Mayhem Devil that they are able to draw. We are able to race them in the air. This can also pick a cat out of the graveyard, potentially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could give it three pumps, so not enough. That's annoying. That's a very good top deck for them. Hey, that's good. So, let's attack like this. The problem is, so if we target the cat, they sack the cat, we don't get the life because they have the extra food. It also doesn't work. So I think we just go face here and then try to draw like another Yorian, Charming Prince, anything like that works. I think at this point we can probably race them. Okay, so them doing this is actually pretty good for us because it gets rid of one of their foods so we can uh, potentially catch them with this in the graveyard. Opponents used five more minutes of clock than us. This is a matchup after we'll bring in stuff like uh, Kaya's Wrath, the other glass casket. Cutter Bones is fine. Deciding if they want to attack here. One, two, three, one, two, three, so it's not enough. Okay. So 
So that gets rid of the last one. Uh, I guess they're, they're doing this and then they can replay it since I took damage. Not a bad sequence. Okay, so they keep it on top, so it's probably... Uh, Fenlurker would get plus two, two. Actually, yeah, that would be right. Yeah, I missed that. Good catch. Okay. Burglar doesn't do much here. So they obviously sack the cat. So I think I force it here because if they draw something like Mayhem Devil, this is an extra sacrifice trigger that I don't want them to have. just a blocker afterwards we have so many good cards that could just win us the game and we just haven't drawn any of them that's interesting they keep robber Ah, oh, shit. I forgot to make a token. Hi. So you go here. You go here. So I make a token that's six points of damage. They can go up to six only. But they can block with the cat and then sacrifice, so I do need another spell. Same loop again, sacrifice it. Really just need an action spell here. about another land so here I attack I take them to one I have two blockers otherwise I block here and here I take three so 
takes them to one, they get the block anyways, so it doesn't make sense. So I think we just attack in with the four or five here. It's been quite annoying. Just not drawing uh, anything other than lands. Like four treacherous blessings, doom foretold would have been fine. Othakaya would have won the game. Conquer's death could have got rid of Woe Strider. So we're dead to murder or to mayhem devil. We're also dead to claim. Hey Meister, I'm probably not uh, I just did a quick one today. I'll probably be I'll try to come back either later today or um, Tomorrow I'll be off the next couple days too. So like even during the week. I'll probably be doing some day streams So they can sack the woe strider for two food tokens They can gain the life that way Opponents also have 14 minutes here. Yeah, we're going to be working from home. Like, they haven't even started to consider it till at least September. And it's probably not going to be till the end of uh, the year that I go back into the office. My, I work downtown in a building that has 54 floors and probably has... Five to ten thousand people working in there so elevators stuff like that doesn't really make sense okay othakai at me they have two food tokens so they survive from that are you kidding me Um, so far, it's been pretty good. Like, the blue versions draws more cards, I find, but this is the first first game of the first match. Uh, the mana base is less painful. So, we're dead unless we draw literally the worst card to draw. So, at this point, just because the opponents used a lot of time on the clock, I'm just going to... Waste a bit of time here. Yeah, the only thing that's been a little awkward is... Um, oh, you have Menace. Um, it doesn't... Like, when you draw multiples, it's a little weird. He's Agonizing Remorse. Just been awful. Okay, so Glass Casket for sure, Kaya's Wrath for sure. Um, let's get rid of these Agonizing Remorse. Probably still want Conquer's Death. Treacherous Blessing's at an interesting spot. Like, we don't want to take the damage from it, so I think... Alright, have a good one, man. Uh, I think we bring in the Rotting Regisars, but it gets chumped pretty easy. So maybe we do a split, play some Remorse. It can target stuff in the graveyard. Or maybe just play a couple of these. If it wasn't for Cat, like it gets blocked too easy. 
And then it can also be claimed, so it's probably not something good to bring in here. So I think if we can get this into a grind fest or win this game, we should just win on clock. We had a number of votes that game. Just didn't draw into them. So I don't really think we can fault the deck per se, like out of one match. Having just Kaya's Wrath will be nice as a catch-up mechanic. Like, obviously, Cat will come around from it, but their version seems to be a little bit more linear and aggressive. Play first. Sounds fine. Early blockers with an Oath of Kaya's removal. Hey, Master Chief. Um, probably too soon to tell. Um, where this version does is attack your opponent's hand a lot better. You have 12 discard spells in the main that can be recycled. Um, I do like the four Yorians. All right, we're never going to draw another land. Excited for that. Well, the good thing is, well, that's some synergy for them. I'd love to draw a land to kill whatever they play here, especially if it's something like Priest. Okay, so that's probably going to get rid of the Kaya's Oath of Kaya, maybe Conquer's Death. Esper giving you Omen of the Sun, or Omen of the Seas to smooth out your draws is something that I miss in this deck. It's also fronting like four or three Kaya's main. Wow, they got rid of a Burglar Rat. Burglar Rat confirmed OP. Um, I think we go Fenlurker here because it exiles. So if they have a Woe Strider, then it's one less card. For them to be able to get back after. Opponent's at 12 minutes. So this start, they brought an act of treason. The start bodes well for us. We've been able to attack their hand. Okay, so they got the cauldron familiar loop going which is annoying so I think here it's attacking with both I'm not gonna pump if they want to trade they can Um, this is interesting because what I can do is I can Yorian, get it to hand. If I draw another land, I get to kind of get them that way. Or I can make them discard. I think we still go discard. It's not the most mana efficient, but sorry, just give me a sec. My wife just came home. So here I'm going to force them. If they either sack, so I keep my thing. And now I can Othakaya this robber and gain three life. That's actually really good too.
So I have Glass Casket next turn to hopefully hit something as well. I'm actually kind of surprised they did that. What they probably should have done was let the cat trade and then hold this up so that they can bat, like sack the thing. Yeah, Jumpstart looks pretty sweet. There's some cool cards coming out in the new set. Okay, so they hit our land. I'm going to offer the same trade as last time. Yes, please. Getting rid of the oven here is going to be big. How about yourself, Quantum? Are you interested for Jumpstart? I heard you had some dead things that needed to stay dead. So Let's exiling this is good. This they will get a trigger off this robber, but I'm not too concerned. I can double block it. So as you can tell by my uh, actually, it's kind of blocked here, but my arena name is Bant Wolf Run, um, named after the deck Bant Wolf Run, which was Thrag Tusk, Restoration Angel, Sphinx's Revelation. So we're slowly getting those cards here. Oh, are you kidding me? Just naturally rips into it. And they draw into Othakaya. So I'm just going to take this off the battlefield here. Yeah, so I, I'm going to be doing the early streamer event as well on Wednesday. Um, so I, I put some brews together, but I'll be streaming all day again. Um, so we'll be playing pretty much the whole, whole day. Um, so we're going to get rid of this oven again. Nothing S for control yet. So the way I kind of always stay with control is you somewhat want to know what the meta is before building control. Um, sorry, just let me think of this line really quick and I'll explain. Um, yeah, I think we'll just go like this. Hold this up. Um, so generally speaking, you need to know what you're controlling against. Uh, I do have like a blue-white tempo list that you could kind of lock your opponents out by bouncing everything every turn. Sick. Okay, so opponent concedes, realizes, pretty much have this one locked up. Um, Rotting Regisar, they brought in the Act of Treasons as well, so I'm hesitant to have those in. I think we just bring in some Agonizing Remorse. I haven't really seen anything for Dispark. They're low to the ground aggro. So let's just run it back. Um, I think we keep this hand. Burglar Rat into Mortify into Elspeth. That's actually a great draw. Let's me curve out and then not have to worry about taking a turn off. Opponents use nine more minutes of clock than us. They always have it. How? I'm excited for this to be Mayhem Devil now. So they 
have the robber. Oh, there's our doom foretold. Also doesn't bode well. Um, I think we just do this. Fog the damage. And then just try to use... So having double removal is good here. Elspeth's probably what you should take. It's actually good because I don't have to shock myself here. Really here, they're at six minutes. I'm gonna try to draw, like, drag out this game. You shouldn't rely on winning by the clock, but if the opponent's playing particularly slow, like this game's been going on for 42 minutes. So doing this now, um, just because, okay, so they got a second oven and they bring Jengantha to hand. So here, let's get rid of Jengantha. Past the turn. Give me one sec. Sorry, my wife just came home and my dog's sitting at the top of the stairs and she's like waiting for me to give her permission to go downstairs. It's actually a pretty solid draw. You need four cards and six mana. Um, I think we just passed the turn. So I th they know we have the Mortify, so I want to see if they slip up here. At the worst case, it lets me, um, okay, so they drew the second cat, also annoying here. So I'm doing this so I can escape the Elspeth back and then gain five life. Death itself cannot halt my quest for justice. This should also try to get them to attack into Elspeth. I think I want something like Soul Guide Lantern. So they have 
have the Dread Horde. Hey, Mr. Chef Piggy, how's it going? So I think I just want to take this off the battlefield here. Take Elspeth down there. It's going well. Been playing a marathon match. Never wants to end. So let's bring this to hand. Play out the burglar rat. I think we just hold glass casket. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Depending what they bring out next turn. Opponents at three minutes and change. Only two cards in our graveyard, so not enough for Elspeth yet. We're just kind of kind. Um. So you can try. Usually, when you just start, I'd suggest. Take the trade. Yeah, I think we ought to take the trade here. Um, you can save golds and then try to draft. So I can do this. It's kind of awkward either way. Because, like, this gets sacked. That does mean, sorry, just give me a sec, Mr. Chef. I just want to think through this line because it's probably what dictates the game here. I need a blocker, so let's do this. Okay, so I usually buy the like $50 every so often pack um, for the new sets when they come out. Um, if you're like a free-to-play or more kind of budget conscious, um, I'd look at, there's usually some variation of a budget deck. Um, I'd probably hold off and wait till M21 to see where the meta shifts. Um, and then you can just kind of save golds and then, oh, they stole your in. Yeah, they got the, GG. We were kind of forced into playing that. Um, Mono Red Cavalcade might be something that's like a budgety deck and then just kind of grind events um, even if you're drafting might be something good to do. Yeah, opponent. Minute 50 on the clock. This one was a long one. Most certainly. Sorry, give me a sec. My wife just like yelled and drop something. I just want to make sure she's okay. Is everything all right? What? Yeah. Hey, all right. So I'm going to actually wrap this one up. I'm needed downstairs. A uh, little bit of a mess. Um, but yeah, I would just suggest um, put together uh, like some cheap decks. Just try to play. Save up your gold. But really just kind of wait till there's a deck you're interested in playing and then craft it like that and then kind of go from there. Um, yeah, so I'll probably be back maybe later today, uh, depending on how the day shapes up, but I'll probably be doing a stream over the next couple days. I'm off between now and Wednesday. Um, otherwise, Wednesday all day I'll be streaming M21 decks as part of the early streamer event. So we'll be testing out a whole bunch of new cards as well. So it's a good time to stop by if you're interested in seeing how any of those play out. Anyways, thanks everyone for stopping by. Have a great one and stay safe out there.